welcome to Ichrapik. In this video, I am going to explain some MySQL application based questions which may come in upcoming pre board exam. So, here are the questions. So, you have to write the queries for the following. The first question is to display the structure of the table which name is student. So, to display the structure of table, our query is like that. Uh, always when you write a command for MySQL, you write in capital letters. So you will write DESC then the table name. Table name is student. So student. S T U D E N T. Then semicolon. So this uh, query will dis display the structure of the table. Even you can uh, write the full form of describe. Still, it will do the same thing. You can write this one also. Describe. student so this uh, both the query will do same thing now the next uh, question to create a new database named school so for that uh, we will write create database then the name name is school so school now to remove database employee so we have to uh, delete the database employee will write drop database then the name then the name then now we have to select the database select and activate both are same if in the question it is like uh, write the sql command to activate the database some name is given then you will write use then the name like school so this command will do the selection part now to add primary key to the field roll number and the table is student so we'll add we'll write the query as alter table then the name of the table name is student then uh, we have to add primary key so for that add primary key then in bracket the field name field name is roll number so roll number then semicolon now rec, uh, next command to remove primary key from student for that uh, we'll write alter table student we have to remove so drop primary key when we are removing primary key we don't have to mention the field because one table can have just one primary key but when we are adding primary key on the table that time we have to mention it on which column we are going to uh, set the primary key because our table might have multiple columns okay now the next question to delete the gender column from the student table so we'll write alter table student drop gender so this command will delete that column now to add a new column name grade which can store two characters after date of birth field and the table will be same student so we'll write the query as alter table student then we'll write a add gender not gender grade then data type will be character size will be 2 after dob now let's come to the next question to add not null constraint to the field name of the student table means uh, on the not null <coughs> we have to add not null to the name field for that, uh, when we are doing, we directly cannot add not null. We have to modify the field. Through that, we can do that. So we'll write alter table student modify. Then the name of the column that is name, we can give worker. 
we can give size as 20 then not null now the next one we have to rename the table to student info that student table should be renamed to student info so we'll write alter table student this is the old name of the table now rename here we'll write the new name new name should be student info student underscore info so this way query will rename the table to student info now we have to write the command to delete the table student so we'll write alter table student sorry drop table student so this command will remove the table now the last command delete the database school so here we'll write <coughs> drop database school when uh, we are writing drop when we are using drop command then we have to mention whether it is a table or a database if we don't mention then uh, that query might get confused whether it is a table or a database uh, i hope you have understood these questions if you have any more questions you can write in comment section definitely i will solve the answers for you and if you have any more questions which you are not able to solve you can write in comment sections or you can write share in my telegram group i will try to solve them thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye